Hello everybody. Um, today in music we are going to be learning about beat and rhythm. We have done about this before, um, but just have a think. Can you remember the difference between beat and rhythm? If you pause this video, have a think. Um, anything you can remember at all. If you want, you can pop it in the comments on Satchel or you can just have a think in your head. Okay, so the difference between beat and rhythm. Beat is that steady. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's steady pulse, okay? That goes over and over again and it allows people to use it to keep in time um, and to keep everything, everybody working at the same um, speed and orchestra. If everyone was going at different speeds, it would sound chaotic and awful because it wouldn't fit together, okay? Rhythms are more used for things like melodies um, to make things more interesting. So they still follow that one, two, three, four, one, two, Okay, so you can do lots of different things with rhythms. Um, so if you have a look at the screen here, you can see we've got this chart here um, with four beats in a bar. There are four bars of four beats and the circle is telling you what you should clap on. Okay, so we've got here, if you did that, you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, because three, four, and then we clap because we clap two at the end. If you can see, it's clapping on one and two. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're all both going to play play a one. Okay, we're going to be Mr. Green here. There are different colours, but we're going to look at them in a little bit. Um, so we're going to be play a one, and we're going to clap it together. So I'm going to clap it with you. So if you need help, look at me, follow me. But I will try and shout out prompts. There are some pauses in there. I sometimes forget, so we'll try our best. But make sure you're really, really watching it. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll maybe do something a little bit more complicated okay so i might disappear for a second but i will come back so ready one two three four clap two three watching green two three. clap two three four clap clap and away clap two three is one, one, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We're all doing the same now. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lots of counting in your head, watching those. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well done, you're doing fantastic. Keep up if you can. Well done, okay. So how did that, it was a bit complicated maybe keeping up with that but really really well done if you managed to keep up with that okay right we are going to do the same thing you are going to do the same thing if you want um or if you wanted to challenge yourself a little bit you could have a go at being player two okay so player two is the 
this red fellow here, okay? So we're going to have another go. I am going to be player three, okay? So don't be player three, but I'm going to be doing my bit, so that will put you off a little bit. So if you, if, you, if you found that a bit tricky, definitely only stick to player one. If you find that okay and you want to give yourself a little bit of a challenge, go to player two, because if you have a look, player two is, oh, we've gone a bit too far there, but player two is um, clapping on beats two, two, two and four, which doesn't feel as natural as beats one and three. So I'm going to move myself, I think, down here a little bit away from, I'll just be here, but I'll be still clapping my part. But mainly I want you to focus on you doing part one with me doing something else. So you've got different sounds um, there, okay? So let's see how we get on. We're just, I think, let me, I'm going to, let's go back a few seconds. Let's have our count in. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm doing player three purple. You're doing one, which is green, or two if you want to challenge yourself, which is red. Okay, let's go. That's you. Keep it going. You're on, don't do what I'm doing. Well done. Now we're all doing the same. One, one, two, three, one. One, two, three. Wait for it. Two. You keep going on one. 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 Ooh. I'm putting myself off now. together. One, two, three. Let me go back to one again. One. One, two, three. All together. One, two, three, four. One. Keep it going, we're nearly at the end. Woo! Well done there, everybody. I'm just gonna move myself into the screen. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, Really, I mean, I was, sometimes you get distracted by things and then you've lost it and you know, oh, where am I? But really, really well done if you managed to get through that. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I'd like you to do today. Um, and we're going to do a, a few more things on this over the coming weeks. The first thing that I would like you to do is see whether you can find someone in your household who you can clap along with. So you can, they can do what I did. Maybe you could even find three people and you could do it. The best thing would be to have a go at doing maybe would be, if you wanted to, you could take the sound off and you could just have a go at clapping and see how it works without the sound for a couple of those. But if you want to just do it along with the sound, see how you can get on. If you're in school, that'd be such a good idea. We could You could get everybody split into groups um, and have a go. You could also have a go at drawing. Your second thing is to create your own rhythms, okay? Um, so if you wanted, you could pick a song because most songs are in four beats in a bar. Um, you could just easily clap that. I would say most pop songs are in four beats in a bar. And you could come up with a rhythm that you are going to clap along. So you can draw, I will put a template, you can draw um, 
the circles or if you wanted to you could find your own way of, of telling people you could draw stars you could say oh actually I'm going to put some symbols so I want you to clap on this beat but I actually want you to stomp on this beat we're going to do a bit more on that next week um so if you wanted to do that so just a few um simple rhythms that you could have a go and then you could get someone to see whether they can clap it um and you could if you wanted to you could put it along to a song because it will work if you tried that it'll work along to any any pop song. Um, so there are your two tasks I'd like to do today. So find someone to have a go at doing this with and then create some of your own rhythms. And as I say, I will, if you want, put some templates on so you can use those or you could just create your own way of doing it if you want. And then I will have a go at them as well. Maybe I'll even, if there's some great ones, I'll video myself having a go at them for next week when or when after half term. Um, and we'll see how I get on with them. Thank you for joining me today. Anyway, I hope you like this um, way of working, something a little bit different, and I hope you enjoy the tasks that you've got to do this morning. Fantastic. Thank you, and I will see you soon.